r slash ask reddit what's something you learned embarrassingly late in life when i was a teenager i posted a status online that said i was jacking off i thought that meant you were just bored and wasting time until my older sister messaged me horrified that a prostitute doesn't actually sell a piece of their body backstory my mom and I were watching the scene from Titanic where Jack tells Rose that he painted a one-legged prostitute. I asked my mom what a prostitute was and she told me it's someone who sells their body for money. I could not fathom why someone would sell their leg for like $30. I was like, 22. Working at a restaurant making myself a salad, and I asked the chef for bumps and he stared at me for like, 60 solid seconds trying to figure out what I wanted. I explained to him I wanted bumps for my salad. I have all the rest of the toppings but now needed bumps. Guys, my family told me croutons were called bumps my entire life. I called my dad that night and confirmed that bumps are indeed, actually called croutons. Edit, first of all, thank you for the awards. Secondly, people keep asking, why did my family call them bumps? Well, someone in my family had a speech problem as a kid, couldn't say croutons, and they became bumps. Person shrugging light skin tone emoji modifier female sign we had other funny names for stuff, but I knew what the real words were. I just never got around to learning croutons I guess. I live near the hospital for joint diseases. When I was a kid I thought it was a special hospital for people who had two different diseases at the same time. I though Mick Jagger's name was Mick Jagger, and people just never said his first name for some reason. This is something my little sister did through high school. We're about 8 years apart so we never overlapped in school. She's always been a straight A student, and I found out she worked extra hard because she wanted to catch up to me in school so we could be in school at the same time. I almost cried. Edit, thanks for all the awards. Never had any of those before. You've made a girl with the flu feel a little better today. And for those of you who asked, yes. My sister not only caught up, but surpassed me. She's a beautiful young woman who graduated with high honors in psychology and is going on to complete a master's degree. I learned that pork and beans are not called cowboy beans. I was 18 and asked a grocery store clerk to help me find the cowboy beans. We were looking everywhere and I was getting frustrated because I know that every store carries these beans. After a while I pick up a pork and beans can with a picture and say see, it looks just like this. He says you mean pork and beans. Then I realized that my mom called them that so that I would eat them. The look of disappointment from that grocery store clerk haunts me to this day. My sister was in her 50s when she found out the meaning of, you have an addictive personality. She thought after all these years of therapy that it meant that people were addicted to her personality. We laugh hysterically when we talk about this, in a very sad way. My dad was fond of framing questions to my brother and slash or me regarding just what on earth we were doing up to age 10 or so, when it no longer seemed necessary, using the term pray tell, as in what are you doing with the tools, pray tell? I presumed a pray tell was a gentle equivalent to good ball or dummy. One day I corrected my brother about some misconception he had, addressing him as you pray tell. What did you call him? Asked dad, who happened to be nearby. A pray tell. You call us that all the time. I do. Yeah, you say what is that supposed to be, Pradel? I'd never seen him laugh through a face palm before. That you don't have to stand in the shower while the water warms up. I thought that horses had toes until I was 22. I thought the hoof was a horseshoe and the toes were tucked inside. How did I learn how wrong I was, you ask? I was walking past a cavalry museum and saw a horse statue and loudly remarked it must hurt so bad when they fold a horse's toes to put them into the shoe. 
Dozens of horse enthusiasts turned and looked at me with wild bewilderment in their eyes. You don't have to rip the plastic top off of your new deodorant with your teeth or pliers or anything. You can just turn the base until it comes up enough to just take it off. When I was in college, 21 20 seconds years old, I was getting ready to go out and it hit me like a lightning bolt, if you just thread the small end of the belt through your belt loops all the way around, literally any belt can fit your pants. Because up until then, I thought sometimes I just had belt loops that were too small for certain belt buckles. I ran out to my friends and was like guys, check this out. As I proceeded to demonstrate for them what I had just learned. I genuinely thought they'd be excited for me. It was then I learned that everyone else on earth knew the right way to wear a belt except my dumb ass. Unbelievable how many times up until then I spent trying to jam the buckle side in first and coming to the conclusion I just needed bigger belt loops. Edit, thank you for the awards and the hilarious comments. Unfortunately, this is a true story and I have no good excuse for why this dumb thing took me so long to figure out except to say I'm a woman and guess I didn't wear pants with belts that often. Believe it or not, I graduated from college and lead a pretty successful and fulfilling life. We all do stupid stuff and I'm glad the story of my stupid thing made so many of you laugh. I'm from Mississippi and until I was 18 I thought that everyone else in the country counted with their own state. I.e. Instead of one Mississippi, two Mississippi they would count one Nevada, two Nevada, or one Maryland, two Maryland etc. That bonsai are not a species of tree, but a way to grow them. Any tree can be a bonsai. I thought that prima donna was prima donna and that it meant everything before the singer Madonna and just assumed she was some kind of universal queen. I was probably 21 or 22 when I learned that whole milk is only 3% fat. I always thought it was 100, and when I saw reduced as being 2% I thought why wouldn't they do 50% or somewhere in the middle. Until I was in school for environmental studies, I thought morning dove was morning dove. I usually heard them calling in the mornings, so morning made sense to me. Things aren't supposed to start to get blurry at about 15 to 20 feet. Learned I needed glasses at like 26 from one of these threads. Yes people you are supposed to be able to see individual leaves on trees. Hope someone else can be helped like I was. When people say quote unquote I thought they were saying quote unquote. That a coma was a coma. Until I was probably 19 I thought it was a coma. I thought you fell into Akuma. Jackalopes are mythical creatures. I was. 18 I think. To be fair, I've seen a platypus, rhino, and a giraffe. Those are some BS animals. Coca and cocoa are two different plants, not one magical organism lol. Birds have sex. I thought that the mother bird laid the egg and the father fur he leased it later. I was 18 and asked my mother what the birds were doing. The saying is, nip it in the bud and not in fact nip it in the bud. That pineapples grow on the ground, and not in a tree. Houston is not the name of the guy astronauts talk to. When I was 10 I thought the word masturbate meant contemplate. So I told my math teacher that I needed more time to masturbate my math problem. Also, when I was 15 I learned that a woman's eggs were not the same size as chicken eggs. I thought periods were so bloody because the chicken sized egg was stretching them out. When you're an adult, you shouldn't buy shoes that are a little loose, in case you get taller. That the porta potty doesn't somehow know when someone's inside. That the sign only changes to occupied when you physically lock the door. Many people walked in on me during my childhood. Edit, I was dragged to many outdoor craft fairs and whatnot as a child. So I had to use them more often than most other children. Just this week I found out about the little button on the back of the socket driver that pushes the socket off. 
I have owned the same socket set for about 30 years, and I have a dedicated screwdriver that I keep with my sockets and use to pry them off when I'm done using them. I will be 55 years old soon. My BF makes fun of me to no end for this one. When I was a kid, I had a goofy movie on VHS tape, and at the end it had a Disney remix of Mambo No. 5, musical notes a little bit of Mickey in my life, a little bit of goody by my side musical notes. Guys, my parent owned a Buick from the 70s that had an old tape deck and a non-working radio, so we listened to cassette tapes and I almost never heard top 40 or modern pop music as a kid, and I thought that was the real version of that song until I was 25. I had no idea that it was about a dude banging a bunch of chicks until I heard it in a grocery store and I was fucking scandalized. I didn't know tortilla chips were made out of tortillas until I was 20 years old and saw the line cook at my job cut up a tortilla and throw it in the deep fryer. I was maybe 17 or 18 before learning that it was Timbuktu, not Timbuktu. I thought there was an original Timbuk out there somewhere. Why I was really young my sister told me she threw her guts up. So I was really afraid of vomiting my entire insides up for years. I thought Sedan was a car brand until I was 22. I didn't know I was circumcised until I was 15 or 16. I was arguing with a girl online. I thought the head was the foreskin and that circumcision cut the actual head of the penis off. While watching Game of Thrones, I asked my husband when dragons went extinct. He had to pause the show for that one. Let me tell you about how I thought you were awarded a Pulitzer Prize. A few months ago two of my colleagues both handed in their notice at around the same time. I kept reading slash hearing the sentence they're both moving on to pastures new being thrown about the office in the weeks leading up to them leaving and I hadn't heard this phrase before and thought that was the name of the rival company that they were going to. I thought it was weird that nobody was talking about how they were both leaving for the same company. I was in the car with one of the ones who was leaving and said so where is that you and X are going to be working? Is it? And just before I could embarrass myself and say pastures new, they interrupted me and said they're not going to the same place and asked me where I had heard that. I think at that moment I realized I was stupid and didn't mention it again. Not me but my mom, waiting for the shower to be warm before stepping in. She grew up with a bathtub most of her life, and didn't get a shower until she moved out of my grandparents' place in her 20s. She was apparently talking to a co-worker about the winter weather one morning. While lamenting, she goes, and don't you just hate getting into a cold shower on these cold days? It takes so long for the water to get warm. Co-worker, uh. Cheryl. You know you can just wait until the water gets warm, then hop in. My parents were divorced the whole time and my mom was not, in fact, taking a vacation LMAO. I suspected it was the same with lots of people but I found out it wasn't guerrilla warfare but guerrilla warfare maybe in my 20s. The disappoints of growing up. They just keep coming. I thought ponies were just baby horses until the age of 23. Edit, until I was 23, I didn't think horses aged like turtles. I'm dumb, but not that dumb. Learned this yesterday, actually, apparently you need to RSVP to events even if you will not be attending. That Cheesecake Factory is a restaurant and not an assembly line of workers making cheesecake. I always envisioned you would go in there and watch them and eat a slice, sort of like a brewery. Edit, I'd like to add that I've lived in close proximity to multiple locations my entire life, and my sister used to go all the time with her friends. I thought they all just really liked the cheesecake, and the factory vibe of it all. It's not until my now fiancé asked me to meet her and her friend there for drinks that I figured it all out, at about age 22 to 23 lol. That all the places in France were not named after wines. 
The D in the Disney logo was a stylized capital letter and not a backwards G. In the last year I found out peanut butter is brown. I'm 34. And horrendously colorblind, if that wasn't obvious. Edit, I thought it was green. I used to think that the Diet Coke bottles on the side of the road which were half full of pale yellow liquid were unfinished Diet Cokes that had been bleached by the sun. About two years ago I saw one of these bottles being ejected from a truck and I realized the awful truth. I'm 53. I think I was in college when I realized that Mario and Luigi are plumbers. I thought they just went and up down these tubes just because that was the theme of the game. I was taught it's fine to flush tampons down the toilet, and would even flush pads, and sponges when I'd clean the bathroom. I didn't learn that it was a huge no-no until sometime in my mid to late 20s. I'm surprised the pipes at the house I grew up in weren't constantly exploding. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.